Hey, hi, hello, dear Swift learners. How are you all? I hope that you all are very fine. And I, Ritika, am back for you, bringing with me another new session. Now, before telling you what are we going to study today, we will be having a quick tour around Swiftland to see what is Swiftland all about. So, Swiftland it is India's most sincere learning destination, wherein we provide the classes for grade one to grade ten. Here you will be getting 100% live and interactive class in which you will be connecting with your teachers through audio and video calls. Then here we have personalized attention batch that is every batch contains maximum 6 students so that teachers can pay attention to each and every student. Apart from teachers we also have academic mentor team who will be tracking your progress and will be guiding you through the same. Plus we also cover the syllabus as per your school exam schedule so that you can perform well there also. Then there are some of the more key features of Swift Learn which include detailed progress reports. So by the end of two or two and a half months, you will be getting a detailed analysis in the form of report card of what you have been doing. You can also take part in Swift Learn Academic test series in which you can compete with the students of your grade and you can see where do you stand and what are the things that you need to improve. Then we have unlimited practice test which include again two categories subjective and objective so all these things you can experience just by booking a free trial class all you need to do is just go to swift learn app select your grade and book your free trial class and please subscribe to the channel of swift learn and press the bell icon so that you do not miss out on any update of swift learn all right so today's chapter is metals and non-metals it's our very first session so what are the things that we are going to discuss today? It's metals, non-metals and metalloids. What is meant by metallurgy? What is the difference between alloy, ores, gang and minerals? And then we are going to see some of the physical property of metals and non-metals. Alright, so let us quickly start. If I talk about just having a look at our surroundings, okay, we will be seeing a large number of materials, right? So some will be of, uh, you know, some will be big, some will be small, some will have different type of size, texture, shape, etc. Right? And all these materials, they are made up of matter. And what is matter? It's something which has mass and occupies space. Now matter, it is classified into pure substances and mixtures. Now talking about pure substance, we can classify them into elements and compounds. And these elements further are classified into metals, non-metals and metalloids. Okay, so elements are classified into metals, non-metals and metalloids. Now what are metals first of all? So metals, these are those materials which have this distinct characteristics of being hard, ductile, malleable, shiny in appearance. Alright, for example, iron, copper and silver. Now, ductile means the ability to draw the thing or material into wire okay for example if I talk about copper so copper we can draw them into wire then it's malleable so malleable means uh, the ability to beat things into thin sheets so if I talk about aluminium we are able to beat it into thin sheets so that is malleability so metals, people have known metals since ancient times, okay? And first metal which was used by humans, it was copper and they used it to make the utensils. Now talking about non-metal. So what are non-metals? They do not have these characteristics of metal mostly, okay? They are known as non-metals, like they are not always shiny, they are not having this luster on them, they are not malleable, ductile. All, obviously, we have some of the uh, exceptions, alright? Now, some of the example of non-metals are sulfur, carbon, oxygen, etc. So, they are soft and dull. And metalloids. Metalloids, they have the property which lie between metals and non-metals. If I talk about germanium, silicon, antimony, arsenic, so these are some of the metalloids and their property it lies between metals and non-metals. Now we know now what is meant by metal, non-metal and metalloids but where to find them? Yeah. 
so talking about the occurrence of metals and non metals we find them mostly on the earth's crust okay so it is one of the most common place where we find the metals and non metals okay and metals they are found in combined state okay sometimes they are also there in the free state like gold silver etc but mostly metals are there in combined state native metal now what is meant by native metal the metal which is found in its metallic state naturally either in the pure form or in the form of an alloy it is known as native metal so talking about the pure form only some of the non reactive metals like gold silver platinum they are found in their native or free state because the other metals they normally combine with um, other particular metal by the process of oxidation or corrosion and they are found in this mixed state but very expensive metals like non reactive metals especially like gold silver platinum they are found in their free state now i talk about i talked about the mixture okay now various type of metals they combine themselves okay so what is that thing known as it's alloy so alloy is a kind of material which has two or more metals in it okay it's a kind of mixture which is made up of two or more metals ore so ore is the mineral which contains the metal so it is a mineral which is having metal so the mineral which contain metal are called as ores and gang or matrix is, is also known as so this is uh, the kind of waste okay unwanted commercially useless rocky or sandy substance that is found with ores so gang or matrix it is usually found with the ores but it is uh, useless we do not use it it is unwanted mineral so mineral it is naturally occurring comp uh, compounds of metal okay it contains metals now talking about ore and minerals so all ores they are minerals because we ex extract metals from them but all the minerals they are not necessarily ores so all ores will be mineral but not all minerals will be ores now talking about metals and non metals uh, occurrence so talk uh, the gases like oxygen the nitrogen they occur in the free state in the air okay and they are combined uh, they occur in combined state in the earth's crust then we have sulfur so sulfur it is occurring in both free state also and combined state also in the earth's crust and the noble gases like we have various noble gases helium neon argon krypton radon xenon etc so they are only found in free state now why are they found in free state because they do not react with any other metal they are chemically unreactive now we have studied that where will we find the metals and non metals but we have already found them but how to extract them for our use let us see metallurgy so metallurgy is the extraction of metals from their ores so we have ore which is a kind of combined state now we have to extract particular metal so that thing it is known as metallurgy so talking about some ores we have hematite which is iron ore okay that is fe2o3.2h2o now we have to extract pure iron from it okay so we will uh, undergo metallurgy copper glands or copper ore it is cu2s so here also we need to separate copper from here okay now talking about some of the properties of metals and non metals physical state so talking about metal metals are mostly solid at room temperature there is one exception which is mercury so mercury it is the only metal which is found in liquid state and that is why it is used in the thermometers also non metals they are found in solid or gaseous state both but bromine is the non metal which is occurring in the liquid form at room temperature malleability so malleability as i told you it is the property which allows any metal to be beaten into thin sheets okay so silver foil aluminum foil we have right so that gives metals a property of malleability and non metals they are brittle means they break if we try to beat them into thin sheets they just break they cannot be beaten into thin sheets okay if we hammer them they will break into pieces 
luster so luster means shine so metals they have a kind of shiny surface okay and this is known as known as metallic luster so why they are used in making jewelry is because they have this shining property okay and this is also giving them a good reflector of light so the metals which we use in making jewelry are gold silver platinum etc because of their luster and non metals they are generally non lustrous but graphite and iodine uh, iodine i'm sorry graphite and iodine these are the exceptions which are lustrous so the non metals which show, which show the lustrous property they are graphite and iodine ductility so ductility is that ability to draw any particular substance into thin wire the metals have this particular property of being drawn into thin wire and therefore we say the metals are ductile and silver gold they are the best ductile metals and we also have the wires made up of copper and aluminum but non metals they are brittle and non ductile obviously when we hammer them they will just break and therefore we cannot Uh, convert them into wires like sulfur phosphorus we cannot convert them into wires now talking about the conductivity of heat and electricity in metals so metals they are generally good conductor of heat and electricity and therefore we are using them to you make utensils or electrical wires or cables silver it is the best conductor of heat and electricity also but we do not use it in the electrical wiring because it's very expensive so therefore we use copper okay and aluminum and copper they also conduct heat so therefore we are making utensils of them and bismuth it is poor conductor of heat now conductivity of heat and electricity non metals so non metals are generally bad conductor of heat okay and electricity but diamond is the exception so it is the only non metal which is good conductor of heat and we also have graphite so graphite is the non metal which conducts electricity very well so diamond and graphite are exceptions here hardness of metal so metal are generally hard okay like iron it is the hardest and strong metal therefore we are using it to make various buildings bridges Uh, railway tracks mach machineries etc but sodium and potassium they are very soft metal and we can even cut them with the knife non metals they are not very strong and hard they are soft but the only exception is diamond because diamond is the hardest substance present on the earth which is known density density is the measure of mass per unit volume so in a particular volume how much mass is there that is a measure of density so metals have high density exceptions are sodium and potassium which have low density and non metals they generally have low density except for diamond so diamond it is the hardest substance known and therefore it has high density tensile strength so what is tensile strength the ability to bear a pressure without breaking सो so, जितना भी हमने उस पर प्रेशर लगाया हाउ मच एवर डू वी प्रेशराइज इट और वी ट्राई टू पुल इट इट डजेंट ब्रेक दैट इज द मेजर ऑफ टेंजाइल स्ट्रेंथ तो मेटल्स दे हैव अ वेरी गुड टेंजाइल स्ट्रेंथ ओके इफ आई टॉक अबाउट आयरन सो इट कैन टेक लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रेन ओके एंड दैट इज वाई इट इज यूज इन मेकिंग ब्रिजेस एक्सेप्शन इज जिंक सो जिंक हैज अ वेरी लो टेंजाइल स्ट्रेंथ and normally metals they do not have a good tensile strength they have low tensile strength they can easily break but here carbon it has high tensile strength so exceptions are everywhere these are these exceptions are very important for us to remember sonority so sonority is the property um in which the metal or any particular material it makes a ringing sound when we strike it so the property of any metal by virtue of which it makes a ringing sound when striked with a hard surface it is known as sonority okay so if you take aluminum vessel and you strike it it will make a ringing sound so that is known as sonority all metals they are sonorous and therefore we also use them in musical instruments and non metals they do not show this property okay or they will produce a kind of dull sound when we hit them 
talking about color of metals so m most of the metals they are either white or silver gray except gold which is yellow and copper which is reddish brown and non metals they come in variety of colors like some are colorless some are colored chlorine it is greenish yellow bromine is brown liquid oxygen it is colorless so non metals come in variety of colors melting and boiling point of metals and non metals so metals they have high melting and boiling point okay like talking about iron's melting point it is 1535 degrees celsius which is very very great then sodium potassium gallium and mercury they have low melting and boiling point and non metals they have low melting boiling points okay the melting point of sulfur is 115 degrees celsius but exception here is diamond which has highest melting point now let's revise what we have learned till now metallurgy so what is metallurgy it is the process of extraction of metals from their ores what are metals give to examples so metals are those substances which are having shiny surface they are hard they are fusible ductile malleable example gold silver and copper the metal which is found in liquid at room temperature it is mercury so that is why it is used in thermometers also malleability is the property of the metal by virtue of which we can beat them into thin sheets like we have gold silver aluminum foils etc name the non metal which is found in liquid at room temperature so it's the bromine bromine is the non metal which is found in liquid state at room temperature so let's discuss the difference between metals and non metals so metals they are ductile sonorous malleable they have high melting boiling point and non metals they are non ductile non malleable they have low melting and boiling point they are non sonorous ductility so ductility is the property by virtue of which we can transform any substance any material into thin wires and metals possess this property what do you understand by term conductivity to so conductivity means how better any particular substance is able to transfer the heat or electricity so if it has got the property of transferring heat and electricity in a good way we say it is a good conductor name the hardest non metal it is diamond which is the hardest substance present on the earth and name the metals that can be cut down with a knife it is sodium and potassium what are the things that we have learned today we learned about metals non metals metalloids what is meant by metallurgy what is the difference between alloy ore gang minerals and some of the physical properties of metals and non metals so i hope you might have understood everything that we have covered here we will be taking this chapter further in which we will be studying many many more things all right and also book your free trial class on swiftlearn let us meet in the next class thank you very much